At night in ancient Greece, a philosopher struck a single string and heard the universe answer back. The room was quiet, lit by oil lamps that flickered against stone walls. Outside, the sea breathed in the darkness. Inside, a group of scholars leaned forward as a lyre string vibrated, its sound hanging in the air longer than expected. This wasn't just music. Something was hiding inside it. Something measurable. For most of human history, music lived only in memory. Songs were passed mouth to ear, heartbeat to heartbeat. No rules, no diagrams, no proof, just feeling. But around 500 BCE, a dangerous idea began to circulate among Greek thinkers. What if music wasn't magic at all? What if it followed laws? The story goes that Thagrian scholars began with a simple experiment. They tightened and loosened strings. They shortened them, halved them, stretched them again. When one string was exactly half the length of another, the sound felt perfect, calm, stable. When the ratio changed, tension crept in, unease. Long before words like octave or fifth existed, the ear already knew which sounds belonged together. This was the first shock. Music could be broken into numbers, but the second shock was deeper and more unsettling. If music obeyed mathematics, then beauty itself might be governed by invisible ratios. Harmony wasn't subjective. It was structured, written into reality. As the scholars recorded these relationships, they weren't just documenting sound. They were inventing written musical theory, turning fleeting vibrations into permanent knowledge. For the first time, music could be taught without being heard, preserved without being played, studied like geometry. And then came the leap that changed everything. If strings followed numbers, what about stars? Pythagorean thinkers began to believe the cosmos itself moved according to musical ratios. Planets, they imagined, traced vast harmonies as they circled the Earth, a silent music too large for human ears, the music of the spheres, not poetry, a hypothesis. In that moment, music stopped being entertainment. It became a bridge between the human soul and the structure of the universe. This was the emotional climax of the discovery. Sound was no longer fleeting. It was evidence. Proof that order existed beneath chaos. That beauty had bones. Centuries later, every scale, every chord progression, every symphony would trace its lineage back to that dim room and those trembling strings. Written musical theory gave humanity a way to capture the invisible and pass it forward. So the next time music gives you chills, remember, you're not just hearing art. You're hearing ancient mathematics echoing through time. If this story resonated with you, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support helps keep these hidden moments of history alive.